Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified. Today in this tutorial we are going to dig into further the positional properties as defined in Tailwind CSS. But before proceeding the very first thing that I would like to ask you to subscribe us for more tutorial videos and definitely share our works, uh, comment on us, let us know about your opinion. So today in this tutorial, we will be discussing on positional properties in Tailwind CSS and there are five position properties and those five positional properties are static, relative, absolute, fixed and the sticky one. So we will be practically demonstrating all of these positional properties being used in Tailwind and their proper usage. So let's proceed. At the beginning, in the very first case, there are two changes those we have done beyond the scenes. The first one is we have practically replaced the class as been seen in the last video and instead we have replaced it with this overflow auto condition. That means there will be a Y scroller. As we can see right over here, this is the presence of a Y scroller. We have set this uh, overflow condition into auto. And in the second case, beyond the scene, all we did, we created this, we have practically created another container in demonstrating our topic, which will be discussed right over here. In the first case, we all we are going to do, we are going to create another class, which will be having a lower weight for safe has been discussed uh, priorly into our Tailwind CSS uh, with properties. You may have a check onto it. And in this case, we'll be using a PG red property of for say 400. So all those things will be done. So all those things will be dealt here with. So we have created a box. So we have defined a width 48 class in this particular case, and we have defined a background color class. Now in the next case, all we need to do, either we can put here some kind of content or we may define a definite height for say it should be h32. If we get back to our project and reload, we can see that this will be the result. We have practically created a box inside it and now we will be using some kind of classes here in order to understand our positional properties. Let's get back to their site and we can see that all those classes, those been defined right over here with the CSS property they are carrying with like this static class. It is practically using a position of static. Then comes the fixed class. It is using a position of fixed absolute position absolute. So all those classes been defined right over here and these are the class names. So in the first case, we will be dealing with this static uh, class here. We will be using this static class to position an element according to the normal flow of the document. If we put here static, press Ctrl S, get back to your project and reload and you can see that there's practically no such change into our element. It is acting in an accordance to the class which has been defined right over here. On the other hand, now let's create some additional boxes, something like this uh, div class, uh, or say we are using another box of 16, W16. It will be having a BG green color, 400. And let's put a height property into it for say, we will be using this height of 24. Now as we have placed it beyond this first box that we have created which is using a position of static property and if we get back to our project and reload we can see that it immediately takes place just beneath the first red box that we have created right over here and it is practically possessing with a width of for say Select this box in the first case, we can see width 48 means that it, it is practically using 12 REM of width 
and if we select the next box we can see that with 16 it is practically using a width of 4 rem here now in the next case all we are going to do we will be using the relative position as been set in tailwind css here comes this position relative which is defined as use relative class to position an element according to the normal flow of the document. Now these offsets are calculated relative to the element's normal position and the element will act as a position reference for absolutely positioned children. This is a later topic. The first one is we will be using this relative class in our project. So let's press Ctrl S and get back to our project and reload. There's practically no significant difference right over here. And the element, it is being directed as far as the document flow of this whole element right over here. In the next case, first of all, let's create another box. This time we are practically enhancing the width a little bit. We will be using some separate box for it and for say we are using a deeper background color here. And in the first case, let's leave it up to this far. Put on a height into it. It will be H24 class that will be used right over here.